Hey everybody, it's Natalie from Power Moon Tarot. Welcome to your reading. Today I have a special reading for you called The Pink Flamingo Spirit. And pink, I've been just, you know, pink flamingos have been following me everywhere lately and they've been like begging me to do a reading with their energy. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it. And um, the reading is called An Omen of New Love, Confidence and Healing because those are um, two things associated with the pink flamingo. Now I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of information on the pink flamingo as a totem animal and also about pink flamingos in general and what we can learn from them. And then I will go ahead and get into each pile. So if you don't feel like hearing the intro, you can go straight to the description box below and choose your pile. And we have pile number one, which is the red tea light. Pile number two, which is the orange tea light and pile number three, which is the white tea light, okay? And um, <clears throat> just make sure that I, you subscribe to my channel and you hit the notification, bell notification to get all notifications because I do go live at times and I'll do readings and jump on and go live. So you don't wanna miss that if I do that. Also, for those of you that would like a personal reading, you can certainly request one. And there's details in the description box below for how to request one. Finally, if you would like to follow me on TikTok or Instagram, details for how to do so are in my description box below. And um, yeah, let's go ahead and get into it, everybody. We are going to talk a little bit about the pink flamingo in general. Okay, so pink flamingos, first let me start out with a little bit about flamingo, flamingos in general. So first of all, they're associated with the air element, and I thought it would be good to do this reading, especially coinciding with the new moon in Gemini, which happened a couple of days ago, okay? So flamingos evolved some 30 million years ago. And um, their pink feathers, like if they have a really bright, intense color, it's because they're healthy, right? So the brighter the color, the healthier the bird. Flamingos actually only stand on one of their feet and they tuck the other one up. Okay, and scientists don't really know why flamingos do this, but some have speculated and I'll share, like some people think they do that um, because it uses more power to stand on two legs than one, and also it helps them like retain their body heat. So those could be a couple of reasons. Um, but flamingos can fly too, most people don't know that. They are multi-talented and they tend to live in social circles and in large groups. They do develop bonds, but sometimes they have more than one mate. Uh, flamingos can be very playful. The energy of flamingos is playful energy, cooperative, building a nest together, okay? And flamingos also have same-sex couples as well, and so they've been a really nice symbol for the LGBTQ community as well. And um, flamingos don't have any teeth. They turn their heads upside down to eat and like filter what they're eating through the water, okay? And so, and they like live in like these mud nests. It's really interesting. Flamingos can have tough skin as well because they can survive in like harsh, salty waters, okay? And um, so that's really interesting, all right? And as far as talking about pink flamingos in general, um, we can say that their tranquil pose of standing there on one leg, kind of looking like they're sleeping, is a symbol of inner reflection and introspection. It's about harnessing our chi appropriately and entering into a pose of balance that is elegant and self-disciplined. Uh, flamingos tend to live in warm tropical waters. They have been endangered species before uh, flamingo energy is also talking about having a pure heart, healing sorrow, lost love, and also star-crossed lovers, okay? And when I think of flamingo energy, I often think of the lover's card in the tarot anyway, which is associated with Gemini, and I mentioned this is kind of for that new moon in Gemini, talking about that air element, okay? And um, happy birthday to all the Geminis out there who are having birthdays right now. Also, Flamingo energy is very social in nature and they desire to create ties that they can trust, okay? And so that also applies to those with an animal totem of a flamingo, desiring to create ties that we can trust. Also, flamingos have to do with beauty, joy, family, healing, 
equality and destiny. And of course, family isn't just, you know, blood relatives for a lot of people. It's friends, it's, you know, soul tribe, soul family, etc. So we have a wide definition for that, okay? And um, so, you know, it's interesting because flamingos, if you see them in dreams, they can oftentimes be an omen of new love and saying, pay attention, you know, new love could be on its way. And um, flamingos have that flamboyant, confident, outgoing, passionate type of energy, and um, they do not hide their light, okay? And one, a couple of questions we can ask ourselves when we're dealing with um, flamingo energy is, is our life out of balance, okay? Flamingo energy can help us keep our emotions in check. That tranquil pose they have, like I said before, being a symbol of inner reflection and introspection, okay? Another question we could ask is, are we spending too much time on tasks and not living joyfully, okay? Another question we could say is, are your circles really supporting you? Have you been feeling piss pessimistic? pessimistic lately, okay? Do you want to break free from negativity? Has your trust been abused in the past, okay? Also, flamingo energy helps us stay really calm and that's in the storm and wait peacefully while, you know, new things come our way, okay? And also flamingo energy helping us walk away from bad people and, you know, those pessimistic people in our life that never change and are always bringing us down and instead finding um, a more joyful spirit, okay? Not that there's anything wrong with being sad. There's not. But, I mean, sometimes in our life we just need inner peace more than anything, okay? So we're going to talk about the flamingo energy and I've been like seeing them everywhere too, so it's been really funny. I was out to eat um, the other night and <laughs> I was at... I took my boyfriend out for like a birthday dinner and it was at this resort place and there was like flamingos there. So it's really interesting. There were like not actual flamingos, but pictures of ones. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and get into it. Whenever I think of flamingos, I always smile and I didn't ever really realize that they stood on one leg, which is very interesting. Okay. So let's go ahead and get into the reading. No extended reading today. Um, I do have another channel called Light of Ascension Tarot, and I've been kind of thinking about changing that channel up a little bit and doing Zodiac readings there. So if I decide to do that, I will definitely let you guys know, but if you'd like to go ahead and follow me on my other channel, there's a link to that channel in the description box below, okay? So let's go ahead and get into it, everybody. We are going to do it. Do it big, all right? Okay. Pile number one, welcome to your reading. You chose the red tea light and today's reading is called the, Plink, the Pink Flamingo Spirit. An omen of new love, confidence, and healing. Okay, so we're going to talk about that today for you, pile number one, and what that means for you and how the Pink Flamingo Spirit is speaking to you today. Okay, so let's go ahead and get it. Spirits, angels, and guides, please connect me to the energy of pile number one who comes here today seeking your guidance. Thank you for allowing me to be the medium in the channel between yourself and pile number one. Okay, so Spirit's giving me the name Angel, Angie, Angelica, or something like that, okay? Is there a flower like Angelica root or something like that? I'm not very good with the whole flower thing. But is there a flower called that? You guys can let me know in the comments, but Spirit's talking to me about that, okay? Um, also talking to me about like the study of angels, all right? Maybe you guys have been looking at angels or angel numbers recently. What else for my pile number one spirit? Okay, I just heard pack it up, pack it up, okay? And sometimes that happens when we need to leave work at the end of the day and we're moving slowly and it's like, pack it up, we gotta go. Or maybe you told your kids that, or maybe you were like, I'm hurrying, I gotta late, I'm late, I gotta pack it up, da da da. Also, maybe some of you are actually packing up your things right now because you are thinking about moving or you actually are moving or you've just been packing some things up, okay? So Spirit is saying, pack it up. What else? Okay, Spirit's also showing me the Ace of Spades, which in tarot would be the same as the Ace of Swords. So maybe some of you really resonate with that card or you just have been playing cards lately, but <laughs> Spirit is showing me the Ace of Spades, okay? Um, 
Is that a card that like trumps other cards in, in a particular card game? I'm sorry, I'm not fluent on my card games, pile number one. Um, let's see, you know how you can play like card games on your iPad or on your phone? I don't know if you guys do any of that, but Spirit's just bringing that up to me. Okay, Spirit's also talking to me about a yellow hula hoop. A yellow hula hoop, okay? So maybe some of you had like to hula hoop a lot when you were younger or you had a yellow one. I'm seeing yellow and silver, okay? I'm also seeing the colors yellow, yellow and silver. Spirit talking to me about that or a hula hoop that had like yellow and silver on it, all right? And, um, Okay, uh, I just heard someone came here under false pretenses. So maybe someone came to visit you and they told you this is why, but it was actually something else. Or you're wondering if someone is having false pretenses with you, but Spirit's bringing that up, okay? And Spirit just said Obi-Wan Kenobi. So maybe you guys were talking about that recently. And um, <laughs> Spirit's also like Mark Paul Glossier, who is that Zach Morris on the uh, Saved by the Bell show. Maybe some of you liked him or you have someone that you have a crush on or you've liked people that have that preppy look before, like white boy preppy look. I don't know, pile number one, you tell me in the, in the comments if that resonates for you. And then Spirit is telling me something about um, like a really nice red car, like someone who has a red Corvette or a red Ferrari or somebody who has like a really nice red sports car or wants one, okay? And um, let's see, anything else here? Anything else here for pile number one? I just heard like diving for options. That's really interesting. So maybe you guys have been trying you know, wanting different people, you know, wanting to date different people, maybe pile number one, or go out of your usual comfort zone. And you've just been going into other areas looking for different options, okay? Diving for options, look at the tower there, okay? And, um, you know, keeping our poise during times of, you know, great um, challenge, I feel for you as well pile number one and some of you could be like you need to leave now or you need to change where you're living or something in your life is really changing right now and you need to kind of respond to it quickly which causes us to kind of um you know like speed up our heart rate it, it makes us feel nervous it the pressure can feel very intense you know but pink flamingo spirit i feel like coming in here for you guys is kind of like a cooling balm, okay? So let's go ahead and get into it, pile number one, and see the, the pink flamingo spirit, what messages here? We have the guide, wow. Pile number one, this is the Herald font in this deck, but I also feel like you have a spirit guide coming in here for you guys too, okay? And I love the yin and yang symbol and this concept of balancing energies, okay? And, um, it's complicated. I see there's a lot of different things going on around you right now and you have a lot of things on your mind and some of you just may want to like sleep more than anything, okay? Or get a decent night of sleep, but maybe you're being kept up thinking about possible solutions to problems or the what ifs, the what ifs, the what ifs, okay? And um, I love her lipstick because it looks very pink flamingo, like that orange pink kind of color. Maybe some of you have like beautiful lipstick like that. And um, I'm also seeing like Turkey, Greece, and seeing like Mediterranean here too in the background, okay? Um, but the Herophant talking about stabilizing our energy during a time of great change. And the Herophant and the Tarot is represented by Taurus, okay? Or is associated with Taurus energy. So let's see what else we have here. Justice, wow, two major arcana cards, pile number one. And I feel like for those of you that have really been going through a lot of ups and downs and maybe you need to leave somewhere or pack it up or go, or maybe some of you are switching jobs or hopefully no one got fired, but maybe there are some changes going on in your workplace as well, okay? There is a need here with, with justice. Um, I feel like to stabilize our mind and with the Herophant, stabilize 
our body and our constitution, okay? And we have Libra energy with justice. So we've got Taurus and Libra energy already here. And it looks like you are weighing out a decision and there's quite a bit going on in your world right now, pile number one, okay? And um, I feel like I'm seeing a necklace that has gold and then has like an orange red inside of it. It could be a stone or a crystal or some type of, or an earring that has gold around it with orange in it, okay? But anyway, what I feel like here is being said also to you, pile number one, is spirit saying we're guiding you to the best outcome, okay? We're guiding you to uh, to the to your highest result and your best outcome. And um, I also feel like you guys have like an inflappable spirit. You know what I mean? Like your spirit cannot be destroyed or held down no matter what is going on around you. And I think some of you even knew that from the time that you were a child. Maybe some of you felt your guides around you even as a child. All right. And spirit is showing me a ladybug. So maybe some of you have been thinking about ladybugs recently. But I talked about the energy of the flamingo and the whole thing about balancing energy, stabilizing, balancing, calming down. All right, um, and I said that flamingos are associated with the air element, but they're also associated with earth. I didn't, you know, mention that because flamingos can fly, but they also, you know, stay on the ground quite a bit too and build their nests on mud, okay? So the Hierophant is talking about building something on a solid foundation that can last for you, okay? And we have earth and air energy already coming through at the get-go. And um, we have the three of pentacles. Wow, you know what? And it looks like here, like she's packed something up, okay? It's like she she got some books off of her desk or she, you know, is thinking like, okay, I know what I need to take with me or I know what I need to do now, all right? And this three of pentacles shows a lot of determination. And the Three of Pentacles in the Tarot is Mars and Capricorn. So this talks about, you know, my astrology teacher always says Mars and Capricorn is like a war tank. You know, it doesn't give up. And um, Mars is exalted in Capricorn's very powerful energy. And you can see she looks extremely determined. And look at the ladder, right? Climbing the ladder and um, like saying, I deserve better than this, okay? And maybe some of you have been saying that recently, like I need to make some decisions here, justice, because I deserve better than this, okay? And this Three of Pentacles to me looks very, very confident. And part of this reading is about restoring confidence and healing too. And she's like, yeah, I'm a badass. I've got what it takes, okay? And I know my stuff. And she's holding the book on something here. So I feel like you guys with the Hierophant and the Three of Pentacles really setting the standard and holding your ground, all right? And that might be pretty hard to do. Oh, look, underneath the tower is that 10 of pentacles, right? Um, and with the five of pentacles too, interesting. So we see something getting cut down and or somebody's role getting cut down or somebody's ego maybe even feeling like it's been cut down or like, you know, once upon a time I was flying high and now, you know, I'm struggling through the dark here, okay? And sometimes it just feels like, you know, when it rains, it pours. And sometimes it just feels like, you know, it's almost like with the five of pentacles in the tower, I would rather just pull the band-aid off and have whatever happen is going to happen than sit here waiting for it forever, all right? And maybe some of you guys have been feeling that energy. And I do think with justice here, it is time to make a decision. It is time to make a move. Some of you may be thinking of moving, like I said, or switching companies or making some type of move in your life, all right? Whether it's like moving on to a new situation. Um, and I feel like a lot of you might have been thinking recently about your mortality. Maybe some of you had birthdays recently or coming up and it's like, okay, like what would younger me, what did I want when I was younger? And would I be satisfied with where things are right now? And I think that's something you're really weighing out right now, pile number one, okay? We have awareness. Yeah, definitely. Something that you are, you know, opening up to the fact that, you know, you can't wait forever for other people to 
open up and show you their true self, okay? And, you know, either someone's going to show up and be there because I feel like you guys are used to doing everything yourself. You're very strong, pile number one. You're very resilient. You're very strong. You're very sharp with justice here. And um, I feel like your guides are trying to make you aware of an action that you could take that would be extremely beneficial to you and would push you faster towards what you want, okay? And I do feel like your guides are trying to make you aware of this through some of the shadow experiences that you've been having recently, pile number one. Um, whether people have been disappearing from your life, whether people have been not who they say they are, whether people have been, you know, hiding things from you, all right? I feel like a lot of you here are kind of like learning through the shadow in a way here with this awareness. And I feel like you guys are becoming more aware than that than ever. And all of a sudden I have a need to like straighten out my, my tablecloth here and like clean things up. So there could be a real need here to like pack it up, clean it up or say, you know, some things have to go here and becoming very aware of that. We have the Two of Swords and Schizophrenia, which is a very, you know, <laughs> disturbing image of a person being stretched um, between two different, you know, between here and there. Like I'm here, but I wanna be there, right? And a person who's being like sort of stretched and pulled in multiple directions, right? And, um, You know, being able to see what lies underneath the shadows, okay? And I do think some of the things that you guys have been going through have been downright, you know, scary at times, pile number one. And I'm not saying that to be fatalistic or anything. I just think that, you know, you've been in a phase of your life where you're really becoming aware of some of the shadow energy around you and what's really going on underneath the surface and kind of how you've kept yourself in limbo for maybe more than, for maybe longer than you wanted to, okay? But the Two of Swords in the Tarot is also a card of, you know, it's a card of mental balance if it's used in the right way, okay? But there could also be like an in-between phase right now that where we're neither here nor there, we're just in between, you know? And that can feel really uncomfortable, especially for people who are more like, like things to be set in stone here with this Hierophant and Three of Pentacles, like, you know, becoming aware that, hey, I've been putting off on making a decision here and I need to learn through these experiences and I need to segue into the next thing, okay? And that's what I feel like is going on here. I also feel like you guys are becoming aware of where you've changed your mind about different situations multiple times, okay? Um, you're becoming aware that like, you know, that isn't really the situation that I wanted anyway. And maybe I was just seeing a reflection of myself, you know, I mean, sometimes I just, I feel like you guys are just becoming aware of the cost of waiting a little bit too long in an, in a moment of indecision, right? We all have those moments where we pause and it's like, okay, I don't know here, but I feel like you guys are becoming very aware of that. And maybe it's because of confidence issues, right? If we think we can't get any better or we can't do any better. We might keep ourselves in limbo for a very long time, all right? But I feel like with the Three of Pentacles here, you guys have the power to drive, okay? You have the power and the confidence and the skills to drive yourself forward, all right? And to really get noticed, I feel like too as well, pile number one. We have trust, and that was a big thing that I mentioned about the Flamingo energy. It says, um, has someone abused your trust? And also talked about, you know, the social na nature of flamingos and their desire to create ties that they can trust, okay? And with the Hero font here, I feel like your guides are saying, we're leading you to a, a situation where you can really trust what's happening. 
and the energy is balanced with the yin and yang here and you're gonna feel like you can really trust this situation okay and it's gonna feel more permanent and i feel like you guys are gonna feel like you made the right decision all right and um we have here hunger hunger for justice yeah and um <laughs> you know other people like not really seeing you for who you are and kind of keeping you in limbo pile number one for much longer than than needed okay and i feel like some of you here trying to adjust to the people around you or to the situations around you and toward to other people who are unwilling to look at their truth you know you guys having to kind of adjust towards that so there's a real hunger for truth and justice and balance and trust okay and and to have a real foundation with someone where it really actually means something and it's not just bs okay because the herald font justice in the three of pentacles that is not a bs wishy-washy type of an energy that's like a i belong here i know what i'm doing i know what direction i'm headed thank you okay so that's what i'm getting here we have manifest yeah, for some of you, um, this could be about a new money, job, or job opportunity. I am seeing the letter T here. I'm seeing a J and an H, all right, and the number five. And um, I'm seeing FS, which is like for fuck's sake, okay? And um, I feel like some of you maybe even were a little bit sick of yourselves. Like, I can't make up my mind. I, I know I need to make a move on something here. I know. Um, and I think you guys have just gotten to that breaking point with this two of swords here. And it's like, okay, <laughs> you know, like, I feel like a lot of you guys are like, I've learned through my shadow enough. Now I'm hungry for the truth and I'm hungry for trust. And I want to do the work to manifest the life that I want. Okay. And um, we have manifest here. And then we have like, taking the bull by the horns. We can see the horns here. And I feel like you guys mean business, pile number one, okay? With whatever's going on in your life right now, you mean business, okay? And if you were wishy-washy or hiding in the shadows or whatever before, I feel like this is all going to the wayside. We have magnificence. Wow, you guys. I don't think I've, I've had this deck for like two years. I don't think I've ever driven um drawn this card before it says you are amazing magnificent and unique but most importantly you are enough okay and um i see that determined look on in your guys's eyes and on your face and it's like nobody can mess with me anymore i know the truth i know what i want and um yeah, this is like, I'm not hiding myself anymore with this awareness, magnificence. I feel like your guys' confidence, right? Because I talked about the pink flamingo as being an omen of new love, confidence, or healing. And I feel like for you guys, the healing is coming around trust, okay? And the ability to build a foundation. And I feel like the confidence is coming around your guys' willpower and your sense of determination and hard work and um, not settling for less, all right? And with justice and hunger, I feel like you guys are super, speaking of new love, I feel like you guys are super hungry for, we have hunger and justice for a relationship that makes sense. You know what I mean? For one that really is worthy of you and your attention and your commitment and um, where the roles in the relationship are evenly distributed okay and there's not one person doing all the work there's not one person keeping up and holding up the nest like with flamingos everyone has to help and they're social creatures and they build their nest together and they protect their nest together okay and if some of you have have children and you've been looking to find that type of you know official connection with someone and you've been hunger, hungry for that, I feel like one of the things that you can do to quickly move yourself towards a better outcome for love is to see things for what they are with this awareness card, see people for what they are, 
Don't let them throw their shadows at you and can and convince you of something you're not or convince you that something that they are when they're really not that. Step away from that pile number one. And with the two of swords, it's, it is very blissful, calm energy. But in this case, I feel like it's a little too yin, okay? Because I feel like for you guys, the energy is needing to come forth and manifest in a very powerful type of manner. Pile number one, like a hammer, okay? It's like, get that hammer out and nail, you know, hammer that nail type of thing. We have green and we have heart healing. Here's the healing, all right? And um, I also feel like reconciling in your mind, maybe why you were confused or why you didn't always see a situation so clearly when you were in it, okay? And I think it's for some of you because you wanted to believe that you could make it or that the situation could make it, all right? But, um, you know, I feel like you guys are done, you know, being the bridge between two different realities, right? because somebody needs to build with you and be honest with you and be trustworthy with you and be there for you and with you on a day-to-day -day basis, okay? And that's really gonna bring a lot of healing to your heart and frankly, to your genetic line, I feel as well, pile number one, for some of you, if you had, um, you know, if you've seen like a pattern of being around people who are untrustworthy and never stick around and this type of shit, I feel like spirit is saying, you know, you getting away from this energy and really pushing yourself hard into a new space is what's going to make a difference here. All right. Um, and it's okay. I also feel like spirit is saying if you guys need to take a break sometimes and you need, you need a moment for, I, I talked about sleep and rest and calming the mind and things like that, okay? That's okay too, pile number one, that's all right. We have here Venus Beloved. Wow, the beloved, oh my goodness. I love this for you, pile number one, the beloved, okay? And um, look at all the pinks there. Look at the pomegranates and the flowers and the pinks. And um, I feel like what this card is saying here, there's the honeybee is like, the right situation is coming in for you, okay? You're ripe, you're ripe for it. Pile number one, okay? With Justice and and the Hierophant, both, of, both Taurus and Libra are ruled by Venus, by the planet Venus, okay? And I feel like for you guys, Venus is a very important planet for you. And if you're doing some type of planetary magic or you're working on strengthening your Venus energy, this is also very nice for you too, all right? And um, with the honeybee here, and look at some of these flowers are bright and open and blooming, and some of them are still, you know, almost ready to open, but not quite there yet. And you can see how the wheel is spinning, how the spokes on the wheel are spinning, all right? So sometimes we have to like, save ourselves for the best thing to come. I feel like pile number one, all right? And um, some of you guys here are very hungry for an, a relationship that's extremely trusting and straightforward and um, doesn't make you second guess things or put yourself into some complicated formula to figure out what's going on in the connection, okay? Because Venus can be very, very simple when it's done right, you know? And um, the green heart healing here too with Venus, another color for Venus, of course, is emerald green. So to me, this is about healing your Venus energy, I feel, pile number one, okay? And we have Mercury and messages. So we have Mercury. We just had the new moon in Gemini. Lots of Mercury energy going on right now. Mercury's in retrograde. And um, there's something here about the way that you're presenting yourself. I feel pile number one that's changing, okay? And Mercury has that dualistic type of energy and it's never the same thing every day. And I also feel like that's a source of creativity for you. I feel like it's also been a source of 
angst for you at times, especially when you're hearing messages that contradict and don't seem, you know, <laughs> don't seem to don't seem to really increase your faith or trust in someone. That's one thing. But I also think like having a flexible mind and having some flexibility is also good for you right now too. So spirit talking about to you about Mercury and Venus and we have card 20 and 21 here. Okay, and then we have card 39 with this green heart healing. And then here we have growth. Do not give up now. You have come so far. Yes, pile number one from, you know, seeing the shadow and finding yourself within that and peeling back all the layers to see, you know, the true you underneath all of this and um, having the courage to move into the next phase. All right, spirit is talking about growth. Like your growth has been magnificent, okay? And your guides want you to be aware of that. Um, sometimes we miss like how much we've actually grown, all right? And I wanna see, so we have a lot of growth happening for you guys and a lot of, um, you know, a lot of great things coming through this Venus energy and this heart healing for you guys too. All right. And I would say just don't um, don't block yourself off from anything right now with this Mercury energy. I know you guys are looking for like, you know, a really stable connection where things are very honest and truthful and people are willing to do the work. I can see that here. But I also think spirit is saying be a little bit flexible, too, um, because things come in all different shapes and sizes. You know what I'm saying? Pile number one. So let's go ahead and see, let's go ahead and see what is going on here for my pile number one. Spirit, can you tell me what the pink flamingo spirit has to say to pile number one regarding new love for pile number one, please? New love for pile number one, new love. Page of pentacles, more earth energy. Okay, something solid, stable, and practical. Um, and you know, when we get to the page of pentacles in tarot, we like go back to the beginning and start over. And it's that point in space when we're, we're pregnant with something again. The page of pentacles is kind of like the empress in that way. There's a connection there because it's that energy of um, fruition. It's that energy of, you know, ex expecting something to come in, okay? And I can tell you guys are also focused on your coin. You're also focused on how you're investing your time and energy and efforts into things. And I feel like Spirit is saying all the work and growth that you're doing on yourself with this Page of Pentacles is going to pay off, okay? And I know it's been a slow process, pile number one. I can feel that it hasn't been easy and it's been very grating at times, I feel but I think you're doing really good with this energy and you're strong enough to do it. You're strong enough to power through it, okay? And let's see what else here. It's about picking up the opportunity and going with it, I feel like is also what Spirit is saying. We, ah, yeah, there's the chariot. Talk about picking up the opportunity and going for it. And um, yeah, Spirit just saying like, you know, Flamingos have two things, right? They can, they make their nests out of mud and they're very much creatures of the earth, but they also know how to fly and they also know how to get to where they're going and leave some place behind if necessary, okay? And I feel like for some of you guys, this whole thing I was talking about moving or going somewhere, or packing it up, it's like with the Page of Pentacles and the Chariot, it's like, what do I need to bring for this new journey to be successful, okay? And I feel like some of you are working through that right now. And with the Chariot, it's like, let's get ready. Let's get ready for something different, okay? Let's get ready to turn the page. And I feel like with the Chariot here, we're letting go of the lovers, all right? So maybe there is something from your past you became aware of that wasn't gonna work and it's like, okay, I need to move on from that now and um, <clears throat> and I need to get, you know, I need to get my willpower back, my strength back 
and then I'm gonna get out of here, okay, is what I kind of feel like too. So let's see what else, let's see what else, let's see what else here. I also feel like Spirit is saying, you know, your combination of being practical, but also following your gut instincts on people and is gonna help you lead you to that solid, you know, foundation you're looking for. There's the magician. I love it, right? I mean, it's extremely dynamic. I feel like Spirit's saying, once you make the decision to take a risk here with the chariot and the magician, things are going to move very quickly, all right? And, um, you know, the, the chariot and the magician are not lackadaisical energies. They do move very quickly. The chariot is associated with cancer and the moon. The moon rules cancer. The moon moves very, very quickly through different phases and cycles. With the magician, it is very speedy, speedy energy. And um, it's like, I can have anything I want if I just go for it, all right? And I think with this Page of Pentacles, you're, you're putting the plans in motion, all right, to find a new outcome for yourself. And I think you guys need some excitement. I'm not talking about, you know, crazy, ex <laughs> people going crazy. I'm just talking about some zing, zing, zoom, zoom in your life, okay? And um, with the Page of Pentacles, the downside of that is it can get very tedious, you know? And as soon as I said that, something just above my head just like crashed really loudly <laughs> in the neighbors upstairs. Anyway, you know, the Page of Pentacles can be very tedious. So I feel like Spirit is saying with this Chariot and the Magician, keep your spirits up. You're going somewhere different, okay? And keep an open mind with the Magician too. Um, because the direction you're heading in, I feel like you guys were playing it too small with what you wanted, or maybe you've even been a little bit too practical or keeping it a little bit too um, under control, if you know what I mean. And I don't think you're going to get out of control, pile number one. I just think you're going to start moving faster towards your goals and towards what you want, all right? And look at that four of wands right there. Uh, very passionate and um, celebratory energy. Yep, there's the two of cups right underneath it, okay? And I think it's gonna come out of nowhere. There's a king of pentacles right there. There's an earth sign for you guys, okay? So it could be a Virgo with the king of pentacles. The king of pentacles represents Virgo in the tarot, but also um, when I see the king of pentacles, I think of Taurus. And with the two of cups and the four of wands, it's like I have everything I need and I feel very comfortable with my life. And I got no reason to complain because everything feels, you know, very natural and very peaceful and, um, you know, very just like with this King of Pentacles, I love all the greens here, all the bright greens. It just feels very, with this green and heart healing, it feels very peaceful. And I talked to you guys about finding a partner that is more practical and more stable and more grounded. All right, and I think that's something that's gonna happen and generous, all right? The King of Pentacles also can be very generous when he or she wants to be. And um, yeah, so being practical, stable, generous, open-hearted, um, helping others, all right? Because Virgo is also like a service-oriented sign. And I also feel like, you know, the pleasures of the flesh here with the King of Pentacles and the Two of Cups. And um, right now we're feeling pretty beat up with the nine of wands. And it's like, this is what I want. I want this house. I want this family. I want this connection, two of cups. And I want this person. And maybe you guys have been trying to make it work for a while with a particular person here, okay? And you know, once we like take a chance in a new direction, who knows, you know, there's a lot of growth here. Um, I feel like when you guys pick up the pace and put yourself out there, pile number one, there's a lot of growth happening for you right now. And spirit saying, do not give up. You have come so far. All right, my pile number ones, that is what I am getting for you guys. I hope you enjoyed your messages. And if you like that reading, you can always, you know, like the video, make a comment. I love to receive all your comments. And I do have a little tip jar on my channel as well. If you enjoyed the reading and you feel like buying me a coffee or a tea, there's a little link um, in my description box below. Thank you so much, pile number one. Take care. Let's move on to pile number two. Okay. Let's do it. 
All right, pile number two. Pile number two, welcome to your reading. You chose the orange tea light and today's reading is called The, Pl the Pink Flamingo Spirit, an omen of new love, confidence, and healing. So we're gonna see what messages the pink flamingo spirit would like to bring through for you, pile number two. And in my intro, I little, did a little description of pink flamingo energy and what it brings in. So if you wanna listen to that, you can always go back and listen to that pile number two, but let's go ahead and get into it. Spirits, angels, and guides, please connect me to the energy of my pile number twos who come here today seeking your guidance. Thank you for allowing me to be the medium and the channel between yourself and pile number two. All right. Spirit is also already talking to me about, there's a song called like, check in with the alpha, the omega, or the queen. Okay. So maybe some of you like, the alpha and the omega and then the queen. Maybe some of you were talking about that or you were talking about the alpha and the omega or you guys are the queens, all right? You're the kings or the queens showing up in this reading. And um, I mean, I feel like you guys get, you guys can garner a lot of attention, pile number two, because you have a whimsical quality to you and spirits like I'm spinning around like a ballerina. Um, so maybe some of you like to dance or you've taken dance in the past. I do feel like an incredible weight is lifting off your shoulders, pile number two, or it's about to be happening or it is happening in the moment right now. <laughs> Spirit is talking to me about a blue ball um, or somebody that has like a blue ball, but you know what blue balls also is, pile number two. Anyway, I can hear you guys snickering right now, pile number two. <laughs> You're like, blue balls, what? Anyway, pile number two, let's see what else, let's see what else we can get pulled through for you. Okay, Spirit's talking to me about yarn. So maybe you have a cat that likes to paw or play with yarn, or maybe you guys took up knitting at one time. I don't know, pile number two, but Spirit talking to me something about yarn. Let's see what else for pile number two. I also heard something about picking up something in the yard or needing to do something in the yard, all right? Um, I feel like someone's wiping their brow and it's like hot or sweaty and they're like, yeah, it's a mess out there. I'm also getting the energy of someone like cleaning out their garage or cleaning out, you know, cabinets, storage, that type of thing, okay? And it's hot and it's messy and whatever, pile number two, but don't worry, you know? I'm sure there are people that would help you, you know? Don't, I just feel like saying, don't worry, it's gonna be okay. Maybe some of you have been a little bit stressed with different things going on, okay? And um, I also feel like someone who's worked outside before. Maybe you guys had a love interest that used to work outside predominantly, or you have wanted to work outside before, but Spirit's talking to me about somebody who does work outside, okay? And um, I also feel like somebody has two jobs and is doing work outside of like their main job here, which a lot of people have happened, you know? We're all, chasing that bread or we got to pay those bills pile number two <laughs> they add up don't they let's see what else let's see what else for pile number two let's see what else okay i just heard something about lawn care so maybe someone works in lawn care did any of you have a family member that did lawn care or had like a part-time job doing lawn care spirits talking to me something about lawn care um, or going to the store and getting things to like you know, fix things up, okay? Maybe some potted flowers or something, pile number two. What do you got going on? I feel like you guys are like, I got so many projects going on. Natalie, I'm frazzled right now, okay? But anyway, pile number two, let's see what else here. Okay, Spirit also just said macadamia nut or macadamia nut. So maybe some of you are eating those or you had something flavored like that. Maybe you guys have been snacking on a lot of nuts lately, like pistachios or something. What else for pile number two? What else, please? Okay, Spirit is just saying leafy greens. So maybe you guys need some more leafy greens. And what else for pile number two? <laughs> Spirit is telling me the Emancipation Proclamation, which 
I think that's Abraham Lincoln's speech, right? Don't kill me in the comments, pile number two. I can't think of anything while I'm channeling, but maybe some of you had that memorized or you remember learning about that in school or you were just watching something having to do with Abraham Lincoln. I don't know, pile number two. Did you guys watch that Lincoln Lawyer show on... Um, I don't think that has anything to do with Abraham Lincoln, but <laughs> anyway, pile number two, who knows? I just go on total tangents sometimes. All right, and Spirit is showing me a bird with, Spirit just said to me hibiscus, and then also showed me a bird with white, white wings, okay? Um, some type of bird, okay? Here's the moon, wow, pile number two. Okay, howling at the moon. Let's go ahead and see an omen of new love, confidence, and healing for my pile number twos. We have the five of cups. Damn, pile number two. We have the devil. Hey, now. And we've got the king of wands. What is going on? Is this my... When I talked about the alpha, the omega, and the queen. Wow. Um, okay. You know, in this deck, the devil is a female, okay? It's usually like a masculine representation. And the king of wands can also be feminine too. It doesn't have to be a man, all right? Um, but I feel like what's going on, pile number two? Because is there someone here who you guys are outwardly challenging to like either step up or step off is what I kind of feel. And look at the moon in the back of the devil card here, okay? That moon is on the bottom of the deck. And I feel like there's been something here with the five of cups that you've been kind of messed up about for a while. And, um, you know, and I see your angels right there behind you in this card, okay? And I think it has something to do with a love situation for sure, pile number two. And, um, I'm also seeing something about the blue flame and something about the blue flame around you, pile number two. If you know what that is, take it as it resonates. But um, it's like the magic is gone, okay? And I feel like you guys are people that are very connected to magic. So when you feel like the magic is gone in a situation, a place, a relationship, whatever type of relationship it is, it really hits you hard. And I'm getting the name like Raylene or Raylin or a name like that, okay? because I'm seeing our names here. And um, I'm also seeing the, le the letter P, the letter R, the letter J, and the letter E. And I'm also seeing the word pal, pal, okay? So for some of you, this could have to do with a friendship as well. Um, I'm also seeing the word fuck off, okay? So, you know, some of you could have been feeling kind of disconnected from things and you're just like, fuck off, I don't want your help, okay? And I feel like some of you in this pile can be very stubborn at times, and you can also be little troublemakers as well, pile number two, which is fine with me, you know, carry on my darlings, but but I also feel like, you know, you guys are pissed, pile number two, okay? And the pink flamingo energy, and it could be because of a family situation I'm getting for some of you, a friend, particularly a romantic situation, I see up to two to three exes here, pile number two, that you're like, oh no, oh no, 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 all right? And um, something about that pink flamingo energy, talking about that new omen of love and healing. And there is, you know, when we're trying to make someone else jealous or get someone else's attention or you know, when we're trying to like show someone, like flip them the bird and be like, I'll show you, you know what I mean? I mean, there's, hey, pile number two, I'm okay with that energy, do what you need to do. But I also feel like spirit is saying, you know, don't waste your energy on, you know, proving anything to anyone, pile number two, you don't have anything to prove. I know you're pissed. I know maybe some of you are out for vengeance or out for blood and you're like, if you think you're going to do this to me, you are sorely mistaken, okay? And again, I'm getting that very stubborn energy coming from you guys. And I don't, I feel like you guys are not afraid 
to tango if necessary. All right, pile number two, I feel you are a pile that is in touch with your shadow side. You know, and it's not that you don't grieve and that you don't feel pain, um, because I think you've felt a lot of pain at various times in your life. I think you've just had to kind of pick yourself back up, okay, and move forward. And I am seeing um, the word cool or cooling, cooling, all right? And maybe something here happened where a situation was cooling and you're like, I don't, you know, I'm not going to do it like, you know, if you think I'm going to come and find you or try to, you know, go after you or whatever. I feel like some of you here are quite prideful as well, pile number two, which, you know, I mean, <laughs> we could have Scorpio and Capricorns here with the five of cups and the devil. Um, the king of wands is Sagittarius, but I also could be feel like there could be an Aries or a Leo here that someone is tangoing with as well. All right, and I feel like you guys are saying this person has put me through enough. And at this point, like, I don't want anything to do with this person. And, um, you know, I feel like I'm also getting Aries energy here for those of you that have Aries in your chart. Um, you could have water and Aries in your chart, pile number two. I mean, when your heart gets broken, I feel like you guys go really, really deep with it because you're deeply feeling people, all right? But you also have a side of you that's like, you will not beat me, okay? And um, I love that confidence, you know? And I love that you're not afraid of a challenge, pile number two. And you're not afraid to get your hands a little bit dirty, all right? But I also think with the devil, we can waste energy, and it's like, okay, like maybe, just maybe I should, you know, just tell this person to kick rocks or, you know, not, um, not keep feeling like I have to prove something to this person, okay? So some of you may be in that position. And um, I also feel like some of you may be kind of bratty, especially when it comes to more like sensual, maybe BDSM or that type of thing. There might be some type of bratty energy within you, pile number two, which I fully support. But I also feel like this person is can be like very egotistical. I feel like they can be very prideful. I feel like whoever you've been dealing with, um, and for some of you, it may have started with your father, Okay, some of you may have had fathers that were very narcissistic or fathers that were like very egotistical or you always felt like you had to prove something to the men in your family. Okay, I'm kind of getting that type of energy. I'm really feeling like Lilith type of energy here, pile number two, but you know I support you in being the bad boy or bad girl that you are, but I also feel like with the moon here, it's like, okay, where are we wasting energy when we could be moving on, all right? Um, we have, oh, the lovers. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Do you guys know that song? Don't you want me, baby, right? Don't you? It's like from the 80s, don't you want me, baby? Um, I was working part-time as a cocktail waitress at a bar type of thing. Um, but, you know... <laughs> Stop in the name of love before you break, break my heart, pile number two. Um, it's like, I feel like you guys are like, I want that, you know, like I really, really want that. And for some of you, it may be a particular person that you're like, I really wanted that or I really want that. All right. And I also feel like someone here could have really beautiful eyes, like very stunning, um, surprising color, like a very different, unique color that someone's eyes look very stunning or different. And, um, you know, I feel like you're very exciting, pile number two. And if somebody doesn't like you, then I feel like spirit is saying, don't waste your energy, okay, um, on it. We have turning in or turning inward. Yeah, and, you know, the ghosts of the past that haunt us, right? And um, sometimes we would rather like get what we want and connect with someone and make something happen 
immediately and get our way immediately instead of taking that time to kind of like turn inward and find some peace about the past and find some peace within ourselves, okay? And I love this four of cups in this deck right here because her whole lap is like an ocean and you can tell like there's all these memories and things from the past and things that are in her energy field, but she's tuning them out and she's tuning into herself instead, okay? And um, I do think that there is a really great promise of a new day for you, pile number two with this lovers and turning in. And, um, but part of it, you know, the lovers has to do, the lovers really reminds me of that flamingo energy. And I was talking about the lovers in the beginning of this reading in the new moon in Gemini. And I do think there's a change for you guys with this new moon in Gemini, okay? And I do think you guys are becoming like more reflective in more of a meditative way about and cleaning yourself out emotionally is what I feel and letting your emotions running through you instead of being stuck in them and then wanting to force things, right? With the devil, I feel like you guys are turning inward thinking about you know your relationships in the past and what you wanted them to be versus what they were and i get it it's not a fun process pile number two i get it but i think it's going to be well worth your while um to take this pause to turn inward and um to really do some soul searching about and to kind of like rise above it you know the lovers is a card of like you know, it's a mentally stimulating card. It's a Gemini card, but Archangel Raphael is also, you know, the angel in the lover's card, which is inviting us towards healing, okay? It's inviting us towards reunification with, you know, what we really want. It also has to do with being on the same page as someone else mentally, right? And being on the same page with yourself, I feel as well, pile number two, all right? And that's that peaceful energy. When I talked about the flamingo spirit in the beginning, about that tranquil pose of a flamingo as a symbol of inner reflection and introspection, I feel like that is going to help you get out of any obsessive energy, all right? We have sadness here with the five of cups, pile number two. I'm so sorry. And... Um, you know, it's not easy being as fine as you. I feel like pile number two because you attract, you know, you attract all the Beelze Bobs of the world or whatever, <laughs> you know, and it's like, Jesus, another one bites the dust. Okay. And I get it. I've been there myself, pile number two, but um, I also feel like spirit is saying, you know, there's nothing to fear. Okay. There's nothing to fear here. And, um, you know, face what you're going through, but I feel like the angels and your guides are reaching out to you to kind of put a comforting hand on your shoulder right now, pile number two, okay? And I think you guys can easily step back into your position of the alpha, the omega, the king or the queen, all right, with this king of wands. I also think as far as confidence, you guys are coming because sometimes when we have this deep need for something to happen the way we want it to and we try to control a situation, it shows us where we're not really having maybe confidence in like what could be beyond that situation or maybe we're limiting ourselves in some way. All right. And I feel like for those of you looking for a glow up and you're looking to get outside of some limitation that's been making you very sad and holding you back, I feel like the more you turn inward and the more you, um, you know, like mentally make that severing from things in the past, I feel like the more you guys step into your confidence and your authority, okay? We have ideation and the devil. So spirit is asking you like, Maybe where you have put some of your attention on other people and put them on a pedestal and um, thought that a situation or a person was actually better than they were and they were worth your time, effort, and obsession, okay? And sometimes when we can't have something and we're very sad about it, it can push us into that, you know, 
hey, screw you, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna go and do this and I'm gonna get your attention again or make you jealous or whatever. And then it's like, once we turn inward and calm down and see the situation for what it really is, it's like, okay, I don't really, <laughs> you know, I, and that's the whole energy of the flamingo spirit as well, is just calming down with that tranquil healing type of energy. And also, you know, flamingos are very much, like social creatures that work together to create a nest, okay? And what I'm seeing here with the devil and the king of wands is a challenge to someone's authority where people are in positions of power and there's hierarchies going on, okay? And that and the lovers is about a relationship of equals and equality, okay? So turning in to realize you know, what that is for you. Pile number two is what I feel. We have vision here. Trust your ability to create the vision in your soul, okay, of what you want. Trust yourself. Have that confidence, right? And if you're putting other people on a pedestal, sad because things didn't work out or wishing, you know, envious or wishing different things like that you could have the crown or that you could have, you know, the title or whatever, I feel like spirit is saying, trust your own ability to create the vision in your soul of like what you want to see in your life. And I think this turning inward and also creating in the spirit of equality is really going to help you in the future. Pile number two, okay? We have the explorer. Wow, I love that. That reminds me of the Wheel of Fortune and Jupiter. And it looks like we have a heart here. And it talks about exploring the heart, okay? We have the heart and then we have the eye. We have the heart and then we have the mind. And then we have everything in between there. And um, this Explorer card, also I feel like this is a strawberry for those of you that have had strawberries or been eating strawberries lately, okay? Um, I feel like there's also a need to kind of like go on a picnic or get out of our routine or get out of the house here with this Explorer energy, get out in nature and um kind of get lost right because the devil energy tells us like we can't get lost we can't afford to get lost we have to have this or nothing else right and the explorer energy is much more expansive it reminds me of jupiter which is opposite of the devil or saturn okay so that explorer energy is like i'm going to explore what it would be like to be in a different type of a connection than i've been in before i'm gonna explore like more equality and more balance in my relationships by first turning in and letting go of the past all right we have lilac oh i love that the higher realms and magic pile number two okay you're a very powerful person and i feel like when you're upset or when you're angry i feel like other people can really feel it and I also feel like when you're scorning someone, someone else can really feel it. Pile number two, which is fine. Like, I don't begrudge you for that. Know your shadow, work in it, you know, work it, own it. But here, Spirit is talking about a meditative practice and um, tuning into the higher realms and tuning into your magic. And sometimes when we're obsessed on something, we can't like really tune in to the flow, all right? When we're consumed with, you know, ambition or when we're consumed with, you know, getting someone back or whether when we're consumed with, you know, having what we want over everything else. I mean, there's nothing wrong with being ambitious. It's just, I feel like Spirit's saying, explore a different way and um, tap into the higher realms and turn turn inward, okay? That's, that's a very, um, beautiful message because I feel like there's a whole different world waiting for you there with the moon here, this whole undiscovered world that, you know, is going to be very interesting for you guys that I feel like you haven't been able to really fully explore before. All right. We have Taurus here and cultivate. So we may have some Tauruses in this pile. The King of Wands and the Tarot is Sagittarius, but it's like, okay, and this is coming out under this devil energy. I talked about being stubborn, being fixated, um, not wanting to let go, idealizing something to the point that, you know, if we don't have it, everything's over, that type of thing. And with, but with Taurus energy, it says cultivate on this chart, right? 
So cultivate the king of wands within yourself. You know, pile number two, cultivate and constellate the king of wands within you. And it doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman, um, there is a boss, a boss B or a boss dude within you. There's a boss bitch or a boss dude within you. And um, some of you may be considering like being an entrepreneur or maybe you already are. And I feel like you're moving out of patterns of limitation and really stepping into the limelight as well, pile number two. So be ready for that, okay? And um, you guys are boss ballers, so I'm gonna need you guys to get up and dust yourself off and turn away from the train wreck of BS people from the past and look at, you know, fully look at what you want and cultivate it for yourself for sure. Pile number two, okay? That's the confidence coming in for you guys. And um, this King of Wands, this reading is about new love, confidence, and healing. The healing part is the turning in part. The new love is the lovers with the explorer, exploring new people to be with, okay? Where it's less egotistical. You know, I already explained the whole thing. I'm not gonna keep explaining it. You guys know what I mean. You know what I mean, pile number two. Here's the Aries, okay? And I did mention Aries already. So we have Taurus and we have Aries. We have number one and number two. The Alpha, the Omega, the Queen, okay? And um, two very horny signs, you know, Aries and Taurus, both very stubborn and um, willful in a lot of ways, okay? Mars and Venus, very passionate, okay? Venus rules Taurus. Mars rules Aries, Venus and Mars, you know, that passion, that connection that I don't want to let go, you know, just, mm, right? And I feel like actually, I mean, it is very hot in a lot of ways. I feel like pile number two, but I feel like there's something, spirit's telling you to explore something new, relationship rise. And I don't mean like, I mean new people, pile number two, letting go of anything from the past. I mean, exploring new people, but also a new way of looking at relationships in general, all right? The passion is great, but if the compassion isn't there or the self-awareness isn't there, then it's a no thank you, okay? It's a no thank you from me. Hopefully it's a no thank you from you. It's certainly a no thank you from your guides, okay? <laughs> it's like you're the alpha, the omega, but the people that you meet should genuinely be able to meet you on the same level, okay? We have structure here, absolutely. Set goals and plans for a strong foundation. Yeah, and don't rush into things with people, I feel like at this time in your life, okay? Because Aries energy can be very impetuous, impetuous, I can't say that word right now, um, but can be very like impulsive, uh, Taurus energy, once it sets its mind on something, it doesn't want to change or do anything different. You know, we do need structure, I feel like right now, and um, exploring and also taking things slowly and planning for a, a strong foundation, all right? And I think that's going to give you guys like more mature options, you know what I mean? Um, where you blend well with the other person, right? Because we want to blend. In any connection, you know, I mean, we want to maintain our own individuality, right? With the King of Wands here, have our own visions, be confident about what we're trying to cultivate and do in our lives. But when it comes to romantic relationships, you know, we can, we can, um, you know, connect on more of like a equal playing field. You know what I mean? And I know that's hard to do in the dating world these days. I know that's very hard to do. So I feel like it's someone special for you, pile number two. It's gonna be someone very special who is gonna connect with you on that level, okay? And let's go ahead and see for my pile number two. So let's see, when it comes to new love, what does the pink flamingo spirit wanna tell pile number two? We have the world. Wow, they're like, finish it up. And you know, we see all the fixed signs on the world card. And in this case, you know, it's Saturn energy with the devil is also Saturn energy. It's like looking back and, um, you know, still holding places for people in our world that 
we know it's over with, right? Or that we know we're going to close that chapter and move on from that, okay? And I just feel like Spirit is saying, don't limit yourself, okay? Don't limit yourself to the past. Like I mentioned, two to three X's popping up. And um, I feel like some of you are saying, Natalie, I'm not limiting myself anymore. Maybe I used to do that, but I'm not doing that anymore, okay? And if that's the case, pile number two, then I feel like this reading is just a confirmation that, you know, you made the right choices, okay? And the world card is also about learning some really deep lessons and being able to incorporate them into our life in a practical manner, all right? And it also is about that mature love, you know, that I, you know, why was I just going to say mi casa, su casa, or something like that? Anyway, pile number two. Let's go ahead and see what else do the pink flamingos want to say. We have the tower. Yeah, it hasn't been easy, okay? Cut yourself some slack, pile number two, okay? And it's like we think something is over, and we think it's over and done with and dusted, and then all of a sudden it comes roaring back with a vengeance, with the tower, okay? And the tower represents Mars and the world represents Saturn. So Mars and Saturn are two of the most malefic planets, <laughs> you know, and it hasn't been easy. It's been some really challenging energy and I feel like you guys have tried to find this structure and these goals and things like that, but you've been dealing with people who've been very erratic, unpredictable, and, um, you know, and also maybe people that have anger issues, I feel like too, okay? And being around people who are very short-tempered and aren't very good-natured at times, all right? Pile number two and spirit really wanting you to explore outside of that, I feel, okay? And um, if something's really over with the world card, let's not go back to it and like reopen any chapters, okay? with the tower um, and someone may try to do that with you, but you know, it's not worth it, okay? And um, because I feel like you guys are really finding yourself on a new path here with the hermit and the three of wands and um, you're learning to see, like I do feel there's a lot of maturing happening, happening here with the hermit and um, I feel like you guys are putting this behind you, like some very tough, challenging times Pile number two in your relationships, you know, um, particularly in your relationships is what I'm getting for you guys, okay? Like putting some really challenging situations behind you here and um, opening yourself up slowly but surely to a different path, okay? And um, I feel like your guide's showing up here to kind of light your path for you and show you the easy way, show you the easiest way forward, the path of least resistance, okay? And um, ask your guides to illuminate the path of least resistance for you, pile number two, when it comes to, and that's the other thing about the pink flamingo spirit, right? It's very calm and balanced and reflective and elegant and self-disciplined, right? If it, if it ends something, it doesn't once again, go back to it and open up the chapter. I mean, no worries if that happened, pile number two, right? Like, you know, don't beat yourself up over it. But um, your guide's just saying like, hey, you know, we were here and we're helping you to direct you to a new path. And it's going to be very exciting. All right. And the three of wands is the Lord of established strength. So I also feel like your guides are verifying how much you've grown through these very, very challenging experiences, okay? And here's the Empress, and um, the Nine of Swords is on the bottom of the deck, so some of you may be wondering, like, did I make the right choice here with this vision card? And um, Spirit just saying, trust in your ability to create the vision in your soul that you really want, okay? And um, take it easy, right? With the Seven of Wands and the Nine of Swords, it can be, Five of Wands, it can be very, very tiring, all right? And, um, for those of you that want to be married or you want to have children or you want to have a family or you just want to be set and feeling really relaxed and comfortable in your life and feeling more love and ease around you, this is the healing piece coming through, okay? And even when you're going through this world and tower experience and it feels like the your world's falling apart or 
some weird chapter got over it again. I feel like spirit is saying, you know, it's all a part of the plan. We can't always see everything when we're on the earth plane. We can only see what's in front of us, three of wands. We can't see the full big picture, but I feel like your guides are saying with this vision card of the hermit, like we see the path that you're on and the fact that you're moving forward and we 100% agree with you, okay, with that. And um, as far as healing, the Empress is a very, very healing card and it talks about, you know, self-love and, um, you know, self-acknowledgement after a period of feeling, you know, feeling mourning, sadness, not feeling safe, feeling broken down by something like the Empress talks about completing a cycle and um, relaxing, you know, and that's something that I feel like is very healing for you guys. Pile number two is to step into some relaxation, all right, because things have been hard and um, your path hasn't been easy, you know, but it really is maturing you. And spirit wants you to know that, okay? So thank you so much, pile number two. Sorry if I was lecturing you a lot in this. I hate it when I get, you know, preachy. I'm I'm the daughter of a preacher. So, you know, I'm bound to get preachy at times, pile number two, if you can forgive me. If you enjoyed the reading, pile number two, thank you for your like and your share and your subscriptions. And I do have a little tip jar on my channel too, if you... Um, feel like buying me a coffee or tea, that's in my description box. Thank you so much, pile number two, take care. Let's move on to pile number three. Okay. Pile number three, welcome to your reading. You chose the white tea light and today's reading is called The Pink Flamingo Spirit, an omen of new love, confidence, and healing. Okay, pile number three. And we are gonna be looking at messages from the Pink Flamingo Spirit. And for those of you that are like, what's that? You can listen to my intro, I explained everything. Okay, pile number three, let's go ahead and get into it. Spirits, angels, and guides, please connect me to the beautiful energy of my pile number threes who come here today seeking your guidance. Thank you for allowing me to be the medium in the channel between yourself and pile number three. Okay, spirit is telling me something about water or a river. Maybe some of you were at a lake or a river recently, um, or maybe someone's in the shower or just got out of the bathtub, but spirit is talking to me about water all right maybe someone here is drinking a nice glass of cold ice water pile number three <laughs> or maybe we have water signs in this pile all right cancer scorpio pisces what else here yeah um spirits talking to me about somebody eating chips and getting like crumbs everywhere and then like standing up and realizing oh my god like they're all over this couch or they're all over this bed or they're all over this chair you know <laughs> Anyway, also spirits showing me someone who eats chips and then like licks their fingers after, or maybe even like with Cheetos does that, all right? Maybe you guys did that when you were little and you ran around with orange fingers, pile number two. <laughs> also, anyway, spirit is talking about like fruit roll-ups by the foot. Maybe just a lot of junk food, pile number three. Maybe your kids like it, I don't know, but. Maybe you ate a lot of it back in the day. Let's see what else, anything else. Spirit is telling me that song, I'm too sexy for my shirt. Too sexy that it hurts. You know, that type of thing. I think that's by Right Said Fred called I'm Too Sexy. I'm to New York and Japan. I'm a model, you know what I mean, right? Okay, New York and Japan, pile number three. Let's see what else. Let's see what else. Okay, Spirit just said pink, pinky button or pink button or pinky button or something like that. <laughs> I feel like somebody has like a really small belly button or somebody has, a, somebody commented on another person's belly button or something like that, all right? Like, anyway, pile number three, maybe someone did or a lover did or something, I don't know. Pile number three, you tell me. <laughs> Um, let's see. Okay, Spirit is also showing me like someone washing their floors or like washing linole linoleum floors or like floors that are very hard to wash 
or hard to get things off of. Um, I feel like someone's like, yeah, I'm always cleaning or there's always, for those of you that have roommates, I feel like there could be some type of roommate situation going on right now or someone's getting annoyed because they're doing like the majority of things. What else here for pile number three, Spirit? Okay, um, Spirit is talking to me about someone doing something with their left hand or maybe someone here is left-handed. I know there are people obviously that are left-handed, but Spirit also is mentioning the left-handed path or the left-hand path. So maybe some of you resonate with that energy or just doing something with your left hand. <laughs> anyway, um, I also am getting the energy of someone painting their nails while they're listening to this video, okay? Or maybe you've done that in the past, pile number three. But let's see, anything else? I just heard cash money, cash money, or like money makes the world go round, cash money, okay? So maybe there's some money coming in for you guys. Let's see. Oh yeah, five of cups, okay? So talking about healing, um, going through pain and heartache and um, coming out of it a lot stronger. All right, pile number three. So we're going to go ahead and find out an omen of new love, confidence, and healing for my pile number threes. Ah, the high priestess. No wonder I was talking about the left-handed path or witches or things like that because here's the high priestess. Beautiful, stunning. She's super stunning in this. I love her purple lipstick strength. Oh my God. I knew strength was going to come up. I just had a feeling. Um, indeed. Okay. So we have with strength, we have Leo energy. High priestess is the moon. So we could have moon and Leo or some people here with Leo energy. And then we have the wheel of destiny. Wow. Pile number three. Okay. You guys have all major arcana here as your three cards. And, um, it's very dynamic. All right, and I don't think people can, A, in the past, if you knew things, quote unquote, pile number three, but you didn't really say things and maybe you kept quiet about things, I feel like going forward into the future, you won't be quieted, you won't be held back, you're going to face things head on um, without any fear, okay? And... If people mistook you for somebody who was like, you know, maybe too soft or someone that you could push around easily or lie to or something like that, pile number three, I feel like spirit is saying no way, okay? And um, I feel like you guys are like, I feel some people here may have even changed their hair or changed their look. And, um, you know, people should never mistake you for a fool, pile number three, because I feel like you know what's going on, all right? You can see clearly some of you are very intuitive or you're clairvoyant or some other readers may be watching this reading, but people should never underestimate your strength or power, pile number three, okay? And the flamingo spirit talks about that tranquil, graceful type of strength, and I feel like you know, you have that really strong, graceful type of strength. But I also feel like you guys don't forget things when people do things, all right? And you have a long memory um, for the way that people treat others, okay? And, um, but I also think there could have been some things recently that you were upset about pile number three, but maybe you didn't say much about it, all right? and you were keeping the peace or you were you know waiting for something to shift here with this wheel of destiny and with the wheel of destiny this is where you know flamingos can also fly and a lot of people don't know that about flamingos i feel like you guys have talents that people don't really know about and some of you may have been underestimated quite a bit okay and this reading is about an omen of new love confidence and healing so, you know, the confidence issue here with the strength card is really, really coming out full circle, I feel like for you guys. And, um, you know, you don't need anyone else to tell you that you're right at this point, pile number three is what I feel, okay? Because you're not backing down from what you want and you're not gonna give up. And strength is definitely that card. Um, 
It's a card of desire too. It's like, I'm not gonna stay quiet with the high priestess. I'm not gonna stay quiet about what I want anymore, okay? And I do feel like that energy is coming up big time for you guys. And you're gonna be setting in motion here with the Wheel of Destiny, some different types of plans. And um, I do think there may be some plans that are being hatched in secret right now, but I think you guys are gonna surprise a lot of people with your plans and what you decide to do here okay and the wheel of destiny to me also feels like a rerouting for you when it comes to love um like something is moving in a different direction and where you guys have felt stuck or where the energy when it comes to love hasn't moved for a while some of you may be meeting someone from another culture um, from a different heritage than you. You guys may be traveling. You may meet someone while you're traveling. Expect the unexpected with the Wheel of Destiny, okay? And I feel like you guys have been, it may seem like things have been quiet for a while with this High Priestess card, but I feel like Spirit was giving you with strength the ability to kind of build up what you needed for the journey and to kind of stabilize your energy, okay? And flamingos can stand on one foot. And it looks like they're actually sleeping while they're standing on one put, foot. And some people say they stand on one foot because to stand at two feet would actually waste energy for them, okay? So this is all about working with your energy and your constitution and the way that you are to come out with the best outcome for you. And um, the way other people do things isn't gonna be the way that is ultimately probably gonna work for you. You're gonna have your own way, I feel like, pile number three, okay? We have comparison um, and the five of wands, right? So, I mean, here we have a piece of bark and here we have a piece of bamboo. And I was talking about, I was saying Jap Japan or something, New York and Japan, something like that in your guys' channel messages. So we may have people from Asia here or people from Asian descent, but you know, you're just not like other people, pile number three, and you can't really compare yourself to like where other people are. And I get it, we're all different, we're all unique and things like that. And that may lead us to make comparisons and compare us to other people. And it may cause confidence issues, okay? or for those of us that have felt like outsiders, especially with the High Priestess card, and um, feel like we've been compared to someone else our entire lives. For those of you that have siblings, or you felt like you were always being compared to other children, or to your siblings, or whatever. I mean, I feel like pile number three, you're just made differently, and you've learned through your trials to stand on your own, okay? And your journey with this Wheel of Destiny is not gonna be the same as everyone else's, all right? So it's almost like a waste of energy to even worry about the comparison. We have the dream, the Six of Cups, and I love that because you guys had, on the bottom of the deck is the Five of Cups, and then I love this Six of Cups in this deck, in this Osho deck, um, because it looks like Cinderella, is like seeing her future, you know? She goes from rags to riches and she's seeing her future and um, she sees herself like wrapped up in the arms of the one that she loves, okay? And it seems with the dream here, it may feel like, God, is that ever gonna happen? And maybe some of you have compared your relationship journey to other people's, okay? And again, I don't think it's fair for you to do that to yourself, pile number three, because there's certain reasons why you were given the path that you were, okay? Some of you walked the path of the priestess or the priest, okay? And your journey is just different. It's, you know, that's why if you look, if there's people around you that are married or getting married or they have what you wanna have, like, I just feel like spirit is saying, you know, hang tight because, your path has been different and your path to love is, is different than other people's, but that doesn't mean that it's not valid, okay? That doesn't mean that it's not gonna happen. And I feel like with the strength card and the wheel of destiny, you guys have been hanging on for this for a while, okay? And look at that, there's the page of cups, right? There's a renewed faith in love, artistry, friendship, connection, happiness, all right? 
and the Knight of Swords, okay? So we could have Aquarius energy here. I also mentioned water signs with the Page of Cups. And look, there it is again, the Six of Cups right there. So some of you could have a Scorpio, a water sign, um, or an Aquarius that's coming in big time for you. But with these two pages here, expect a lot of communication. Look at the Chariot and the Ten of Cups, okay? So like the dream of where things could go, right? And that's something that I feel like, you know, I mentioned in the intro about flamingos and if you've been feeling very pessimistic or comparing yourself to other people, um, I feel like Spirit is saying this reading is here to kind of like, you know, renew your faith in your dreams, I feel like, which is great. We have rest here and the high priestess, okay? So for those of my intuitives that are watching this video or where your emotions have been kind of up and down recently and you haven't been getting a, too much of a break, I feel like Spirit's saying that you need to unplug, okay? And, and save up your strength because I feel like you're going to be pushing forward on a different journey here. All right, so right now it's time to get your beauty sleep. It's time to rest up. And I feel like this reading is called New Love, Confidence, and Healing. So the rest part of it with the high priestess has to do with the healing and all the healing that we get during our, our sleep time. Also dreams, right? Dreams and rest and the high priestess, right? And I feel like some of you see things clairvoyantly before they come anyway, all right? And But I feel like with this wheel of destiny, there's going to be a surprise, for you though, okay, pile number three. So it's gonna be something that you don't see coming, um, which is interesting because I think you guys see a lot of things coming. Magic, exactly, strength and magic. And this is where the confidence is coming through. And I feel like you guys are roaring back like a lion and people are not gonna expect it. Like what I said, people assume you're down for the count, you're not, okay? And in that moment, it's like magic. You turn on and you're strong and you're confident. And after this period of rest and relaxation, it's like you come back even stronger. And I'm seeing this mountain in the background, okay? So being outdoors or being near, near the mountains or things like that might be uh, very invigorating for you guys. But with magic and strength, I almost feel like a challenge after a certain point of rest is going to be very welcome because it's a chance to stretch your legs and you know, really show the world what you've been working on, all right? And there's magic in those moments of confidence. And maybe some of you here are, can be introverted at times. I feel like there could be artists in this pile, okay? So you need your time of being like on stage and then off stage, all right? You need a good balance between that. And I think that's also going to be very healing. We have release, okay? The wheel of destiny and release. So release the need to know. I feel like you guys know. Um, you can see things coming clairvoyantly. You're very psychic. You know, you have the ability with strength to kind of sometimes force things your way if you want them, pile number three. Um, in pile number two, we talked about the opposite of that, <laughs> not forcing things. I think you guys actually can force things from a manifestation standpoint, okay? Or you can know things before they happen. Or maybe a lot of you have been getting readings, etc. Okay, but with this wheel of destiny and release, I feel like spirit is saying, release the need to like know where everything's going and where everything's headed. And don't compare your journey to everyone else's, okay? Release the need to know every step along your path, all right? And if there's something that is been eclipsed out of your experience for whatever reason. It's only happened to make room for more magic and so that you can truly unplug when you need to. Okay, release in the wheel of destiny can also be like a moment when we get to go to paradise or a moment when we get to feel like really special and really loved and we give up that sense of control and we just let it happen. You know what I mean? And I, I definitely feel like something like that is going on for you guys. I also see the frog here too. And to me, whenever I see a frog, I think about like detox, okay? So maybe some of you are embarking upon a new journey with your health. 
or your fitness or whatever it is, like detoxing the mind, the body, the heart, the spirit. There is some energy of going in a different direction and releasing emotions, okay? And we have inner alchemy. Inner alchemy is achieved when you react to fear with love, okay? If you're comparison, comparing yourself to other people and you're wondering, why hasn't this happened to me yet? What, why hasn't this worked out? Why hasn't this da-da-da-da-da? And you're really, really like, you know, try, comparing yourself. I feel like you're an alchemist, pile number three. You're a magician. You're an alchemist. Uh, some of you here are very powerful intuitives. I'm sorry, but you can't compare your journey to other people's, okay? <laughs> and, um, you know, like there's Cinderella and then there's everyone else who wasn't Cinderella, okay? <laughs> and Cinderella, um, you know, she goes through some hard years, but she eventually gets what she wants, you know? And um, because she's humble and because she's real and because she takes a chance on herself and goes to that damn ball, you know, with the wheel of fortune. Uh, so, I mean, these are lessons that I feel like you guys can learn from. Okay. I'm also getting cancer energy in this pile. We have water. Yeah. That's what I was saying. Wasn't I water, 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 and look at the dolphins. Um, we have emotional well being and the six of cups. Okay. Um, so understanding like your emotional journey, understanding like for you to be with someone pile number three they really need to be spiritually inclined i feel okay and they need to be a protector they need to be a lover they need to be compassionate they need to be affectionate um they could be like another artist as well there i feel you guys are holding your hands clasped together here in a prayer and it's like, thank God I found you, okay? And the dolphin energy is indeed very, very special. And um, dolphins travel in pods anyway, and they're very psychically connected to one another, okay? So just remember that pile number three. When you're out in the world, you know, going for your dream and searching for your dream and, and taking your paths that you inevitably take, you know what I'm saying, pile number three? It's a very flowy experience with you. The, the dolphin energy also always reminds me of the Ten of Cups for some reason too. So I think we saw that Ten of Cups, didn't we, on the bottom? Yeah, we saw the Six of Cups and then we saw the Ten of Cups right after the Chariot. So Cancer energy, Water energy. We have Libra and Balance, okay? And interestingly, when I talked about um, the Flamingos and about you know, this question of, is your life out of balance? Okay, that was one of the questions because the flamingos balance on one foot, okay? And they can even sleep on one foot, <laughs> which is crazy here with the high priestess. I feel like your guys' dreams right now are very intense too. With this Libra energy, with strength in the high priestess, we need to, the strength can be a very forceful, physical type of an energy, okay? So we need to balance that out with the spiritual world and both of those worlds need to be balanced out together. There may be some Libras in this pile too, okay? But it's like the energy of I balance. And um, yeah, we have Jupiter. I love that. And you know what's so great? Pile number three is that this Jupiter card is coming out underneath this Wheel of Destiny. And the Wheel of Fortune in the Tarot the planet associated with it is Jupiter. So this is Jupiter, 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 okay, to the max. And it says abundance here too. Um, so this releasing and detoxing from the way that we've predicted things are going to go and instead just releasing and letting things happen as they will, I feel like. And um, look at this cornucopia, all this food. We've got wine. We've got grapes. We've got peaches pumpkins. There's just abundance everywhere. And um, I talked about health and food um, as well here because I feel like you guys are sensitive and you do need physical strength right now, okay? And, you know, it's interesting because flamingos take one of their feet and they hold it underneath their feathers. And some people say that's to conserve their body heat 
and to help it so they don't waste energy and they find that balance on one foot, okay? So I think there's some of that going on right now for you, pile number three, and kind of like a shuffling around a little bit. So there is a need not to exhaust yourself to have proper balance, nutrition, and, um, and a detox, I feel, for some of you here too, whether it's a spiritual, emotional, physical, whatever kind of a detox. We have here the lotus. Wow, I love that because flamingos build their nests in the mud, you know, and everyone comes together to do it and to help. So that, you know, lotuses actually grow from the mud. And um, I keep on seeing Scorpio references here too, pile number three. So some of you may have Scorpio in your chart. And we have the lotus, self-regeneration, purity, and enlightenment, okay? And she looks like Isis, I would say. The goddess Isis, all right, is popping up in your reading to say, hello, pile number three. And, um, you know, and it's like she's putting something aside here and saying, I don't want this. I want this instead. And what she's showing that she wants is, you know, fresh air, green, healthy foods, you know, a healthy life, um, choosing the better option for self-regeneration. And like I said, with the detox energy and purity, right? Like, getting anything out of us. For some of you, um, you may be having issues with onion or you may be having some food issues or food sensitivities. I mean, obviously consult a doctor, but I am seeing that. I'm also seeing someone here with blue fingernails or someone that has like light sky blue fingernails. And I'm also seeing someone here who likes to wear a lot of lapis lazuli or has a beautiful like blue um, necklace or, or piece of jewelry, okay? And um, this is beautiful with the dolphins and the water and the self-regeneration and the abundance. It's so nice, pile number three. I mean, I see a lot of peace for you guys, okay? And I see a lot of changes. And um, the only thing that I would say is getting enough rest, keeping your balance, detoxing, and, and don't compare, okay? Here's the three of wands. And let's see, when it comes to new love, what does the pink flamingo have to say to my pile number threes, please? What does the pink flamingo need to say here? Death. Wow. Okay. And, um, you know, the three of wands is so different than some of these other cards that came up. And I feel kind of like spirit is saying, you know, there's a time and place for driving things forward and not resting. And then there's a time to, you know, to surrender. You know, there's a time to just, and I feel like, you know, there's a time to flatline and just let go. And, and I don't mean flatline as in die, but I also feel like death of the ego or, you know, always like having to be on the move all the time or always having to feeling very restless or not feeling like we really have a di direction, you know, and maybe there's been some of that going on for you guys too, all right? But I feel like also Spirit is saying you guys can go on your own if you need to, all right? But I don't think you're going to be alone on this journey forever, okay? It's okay if you are, but I mean, I feel like some of you are really seeking with this Libra and this dream and everything and these dolphin energies, really seeking this high vibe spiritual connection, okay? Um... So there's a need here to let go of the mold. You know what I mean? To let go of like the rat race or to let go of the way that people told us like it should be this way, right? There's a need to kind of give that up and, and just go with the flow, I feel, okay? And some of you may, again, I mentioned the Scorpio energy and... Um, you know, one thing with the scorpionic energy is when when Scorpios let go, it's an incredibly powerful experience. And you don't have to be a Scorpio, but when people let go, it's a very powerful experience that like changes you forever. You know what I mean? And I feel like what Spirit is saying, you're going to be going along with your business day to day, three of wands, and then something's going to happen that is going to be so different from what you've been experiencing that it's literally going to floor you, okay? And um, it's going to be like one of those like awakenings where 
And we go through multiple awakenings in a lifetime. You know, some of you have maybe already been through up to three awakenings, okay? But I feel like you're gonna be going about your daily business like you do, and there's gonna be something that crosses your path, and it's gonna be like a spiritual experience, okay? And um, it's gonna take you deeper, like into your, into self-love and trust and devotion and connection and, deep trust okay so i feel like you know it's it's very intense energy when death shows up okay and i feel like it shows up very unexpectedly when you're not even looking <laughs> the sun i knew it i knew it i was like i'm not afraid of this death you know and maybe you guys are feeling that way too you're like no, I know that my direction is changing and I know it is a new beginning for me and I'm not afraid, okay? And I feel that big time for you guys and just that bravery of that strength card, you know? And here comes the sun and uh, things are gonna change on a dime, pile number three, okay? Um, you're just gonna be go about your day existing and <laughs> and doing your thing, all right? And then one day I feel like everything is gonna change for the better, okay, with the sun card. And talk about the ego death with the sun and the death card, okay? And a chance to start over with the three of wands and the sun and Aries. Um, a chance to start over and see things in a new way. And um, it's almost like where we've dropped the pessimism or we've dropped some of the pain and it's like we're just kind of like bursting with life again okay so that is what i feel i mean when you look at flamingos they make people so happy because they're so bright you know and um the brighter the bird the more healthy the bird is the bird gets their color from the things that they eat that are very healthy and and helps them shine so I think there's something there for you, pile number three, with that lesson from the flamingos as well. And even if you're having the shittiest day and it just seems like everything's the same, if you saw a flamingo and you're just, you'd be like, wow. I mean, I know I've seen only a few in my life, but every time I've seen it, it's like, whoa, what a weird creature. How cool, you know? So anyway, pile number three, it's, it's exciting, it's different, um, and it's fun is what I feel like, okay? So keep going on your path, pile number three, and just take it easy, my friends. For those of you that really enjoyed this reading, I do have a tip jar in my description box if you feel like showing me a little bit of love. No obligations, of course. Thank you so much, pile number three, and thank you to everyone who watched today. Many blessings on your path. Said I want everybody to take care.